come one, come all, to see the 400-pound, hairy, sweaty, gelatinous man take his shirt off. Can we get $200 to watch the world's <laughs> fattest, laziest stone f looking like a sloth, his eyes all Chinese, remove his shirt and spread mayo on his tits while watching Dark Side <laughs> Bill step right up and have a look. What a freak. Like, do you not feel any fucking shame? <laughs> Review Tech announces his retirement yesterday. He's done with his main channel. It's over, guys. I just, I'm not this Review Tech USA anymore. And blah, 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 blah. 16 hours later, he's back with another video. And by the way, then he, he, claims, he lies. He lies. He lies. He lies and lies. He I had it filmed like, already. I had it filmed days ago. And actually, guys, it was just rendering. Really? And but actually, in fact, when you look at the video, it was filmed on May 22nd. Because they're the it fucking bottom right of the computer today. screen. You could see it the date. It was filmed hot. today, two hours before the stream. He's going to get he felted. Today. Oh, buddy, it's He's such <laughs> bullshit. So he got this. What happened is, yeah. by some miracle of miracles, he managed to pull a sponsorship out of his ass. He so lied. His, he showed. He lied about the number. This is his plan. He goes, okay, here's my idea. Mm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to release my retirement video around the exact same time as I released the sponsorship video. So that it has more views for a bigger so payout. So that it gets more views and he gets a bigger payout. Yeah. What a shameless fucking grift. <laughs> I don't even think Dark Side Phil would stoop so fucking low. No! And he uses his personal life as a shield, his family members as a shield. It's funny, he talks about how he's all this going on in his personal life, all this stress or all this problem or whatever, but he can't elaborate on it at all. But he can sure tell us the exact details of all of his family members' ailments and illnesses to the point of his daughter being blind, using that as a shield for his laziness and his failure. But he can't tell us what the personal issue is that makes it so he can't stream. I have a feeling the personal issue as to why he can't make videos or stream is that he's high out of his fucking mind 20 hours out of the fucking day. <laughs> and he sleeps all day. And the time he doesn't sleep, he's busy stuffing his fucking pie hole. <laughs> Holy shit. He is really... He's a by bum. the way, by the way, we are getting fed up with dickers. I'm I sick of this fucking hate him. Shit. He is below no, clog. Oh, it's just this self-pitying. Oh, oh, it's me. Oh, it's me. But I'm not like Boogie, and I'm not like Dark Side <laughs> Phil, even though I'm exactly like all of them. In fact, I'm even worse. But I'm still a good person, guys. And I'm just lazy, fucking. I'm gonna be a musician. I'm gonna be a musician. Do I'm gonna produce rap beats. It's like, no shut the fuck up and be a man. You have children to provide for. Every stream is just excuse after excuse after excuse Hello, after excuse. We don't care about the excuses. We care about the results. Some man in his mid 40s By looking like he's 60 fucking years old, crying about everything in the real that he can't do the easiest job ever, which is just to stream. He doesn't even prep a show. He just gets high and takes off his shirt and plays with roosters he's a hack bum fraud and he's exposed as a dirty lying bum oh and he changed he's the fucking lazy. drop box oh he my changed God, the, the drop box excuse story again fifth time the fifth time and by now, the way, it's the biggest now, lie ever it's the biggest now lie. it's his wife's fault or his ex-wife's fault apparently he was just pleading with his ex-wife please Please don't send me pictures of your children in bikinis and dresses. But 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 that night Who that can it happened. Believe? No, Who can that believe night it happened, this? Dash. He called her. Was it even her? And she who the fuck it wasn't knows? her? Every word from his mouth is a lie. He's been People are saying it was his mom. But he's seriously trying to throw his ex-wife under the bus. And he's like, no, you can't send me pictures of those underage girls. Because People will break into my Dropbox and find them. But, but, but wait, nobody wait, broke no, into your fucking Dropbox, you no idiot! You no were sense. on a VPN, and you 
fucked yourself and told on yourself. You self-reported, bro. He's beaten off the pictures of fucking 14-year-old girls in fucking bikini pics. Gets caught. And then blames us for hacking. Da, da, da. But now it's changed five times to the point where now it's the ex-wife, even though you spoke to her on that day. It's all on video. Review tech. It's on video. It's not like, oh, it, we heard. No, no. This was on video. You did this. Like, he, he's uh, sus. He needs no. He really he needs is to be sus. arrested at this point. That in this piece of shit, like on Mother's Day, he can't get his mom a present, even though she was apparently just in the hospital sick. Buddy, his dad has to make sure he's getting his mom a present for Mother's Day, like he's a fucking teenage boy. Goes to show how much respect or how much prestige his parents view what he does for a living when they just he's walk walking. right in and not. Hey, son, are you getting your mom a gift? And he's like, I can't deal with this right now, Dad. This is really important. It's like he's some little kid playing fucking Call of Duty or some shit. It's pathetic. Bro, well, you can and he can't just can't get off your ass and but buy flowers for your oh, mom? Oh, my God. I, I woke up in the morning, first yeah. thing. Bought flowers, bought gifts. Hey, Mom, love you. Da -da -da. Hung out with her for a bit, had a coffee. Da -da. Came back and but went to work rich. Now, what did you do? Drink a bunch of weed and say, get out of here. Get out of here. I don't care about She was in the hospital last week. I oh know. Oh, my God. It's fucking nuts. I I've had it up to here. But the worst part of it all with him is that he won't mute the mic. You know why? When his family walks in, he won't mute the mic. Because he wants to present to you guys how normal he is. Look, guys. <gasps> I have a family. Look, I have kids. Look, I have a mom and a dad that I live with still in my 40s. Da -da -da -da. Like, it's fucking mental illness. It's oh, sick. I wonder he why uses I don't his get laid. Family as human shields for criticism from the reality that he is just a lazy bum. He will. He refuses to post, not even once a day. When what he needs to do on Review Tech USA is post the news three stories a day. Easy. And he says that he'd rather go into a tub of acid. I, I would rather do him that. do that too, to be honest, at this point. I know. And at the same time, then it's like, okay, go on Low Cow Live. He then says, no, I'd rather go into a fucking pit of acid than go on Low Cow Live. He won't come on here for the confrontation with us. He won't do it on Low Cow Live. He demands that it be on his platform. He make all the money. And he's like, you guys are my dancing monkeys. And I run this shit. And it's like, no, dickers. You don't run fucking anything. Nobody answers to you. It's not on your terms. Wait. You are a fucking low down bum that can't even get 300 live viewers. You had 200 live viewers today. Total disaster. Made no money. Had to shut it down early because he got felt it. Ash. And then you're going to dictate terms to Keem or dictate terms to us? What? Stop. He keeps saying that I blocked him first. I literally have a tweet f print screened showing that he blocked me first. And I asked, and my, and my joke was, I can't believe he blocked me. How am I going to get my review tech news now? <laughs> but that was the joke. Like, Rich, everything that you lie about, is verifiably so false. Easily so I'm not going to sit here. It's like a child lying. It's worse. And then you're supposed to sit here and take this shit seriously and pretend like he's the adult in the room and he's this big superstar and we have to bring him the green M&Ms and only the green M&Ms. Otherwise, he's going to fucking throw a tantrum. And it's like, buddy, you are a washed up hack. You have to retire 10 times a year. The only fucking news from him that gets any sort of traction or press is him retiring. It's every fucking, it's every few months. I'm done, guys. It's over. I guess I'm going to go work at UPS. It never fucking happens. It never, guys, I've been following this fucking idiot for 10 years. I used to watch him in high school, and he threatened to quit every other week back then. Ooh, it's when so will tough. the grift end? It's so tough the to make a 10 minute video. Of it all. It's a 10 minute video. Bro, we did an eight hour stream yesterday, and then I stayed up for a bit and, and edited that stream. It's gonna take a long time, but it's gonna take at least three days. But I edited, Ashton did show prep, where we're like, it's not that hard. Our job, I, by no. way, we're, we're blessed. 
Our job. These are is the best jobs in the world. Buddy, you know, this is what's crazy. More best. kids today want to be what we are and what Dickers is and shit like that than want to be astronauts. You know, you know that. Everybody wants to be a fucking YouTuber, and we're blessed enough to do it, even though we're not YouTubers. Well, YouTube you, is you, okay. it's clip but channel, you know but you know what I mean. Yeah. Same thing. Same thing. Same shit. You know what I mean? And Dickers is just spits in the face of that opportunity and just gets high all day. Yeah. Like, it's a privilege to be able to perform in front of an audience, and you should be fired up and excited to be able to perform, to speak your thoughts, to be able to entertain and make people laugh. But instead, it's like, where's my money? Where's my money? Hey, guys. I'm not going to do any entertainment. Give me money first. Well, maybe if I get some money, I'll take my shirt off. Maybe if I get some money, I'll do it for free, bitch. And it's a bigger f***ing set of tits than you. F Let's go. You dickers. F*** you. I hate this motherfucker. And that's all the entertainment he brings to the table. Well, I'm fat and I have tits too. So what do you have then? You have nothing. Jeez. You are a bum. You suck. No one likes you, Richard. By it the way. It bothers me bad. Ash, we were talking about this earlier uh, on the intro there, but his job is to sit there going, can you believe DSP got money there? While you're sitting there watching DSP get money to get Seriously. money. Seriously. You're worse than, at least DSP playing a fucking, a fucking game. He doesn't, he doesn't even play video games. He watches Dark Side Phil play video With games. With no commentary. 80% of the stream is heavy breathing. Oh, 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 let me get another gummy. Oh, I'm not high oh, enough. I'm not high enough. Oh, fuck, man. I'm not high enough to cope with the fact that I'm a failure and fuck my it. daughter's blind you because know? I, I swore on her life that I didn't flag people down. And then it was revealed he did. And then she got blind. Oh, Whoa, God's Ooh. not one to be trifled with there, eh, Dickers? Oh, how could you go after my daughter? Because you use your blind daughter as a human shield. You human sloth. You pile of f***ing excrement five foot two high. You 400-pound blob. F*** you. Figure it out. Holy shit. Oh, I'm going to be a uh. rapper. This is f***ing delusional. It's like me saying I'm going to be the lead fucking ballerina you ready? in the Nutcracker. Hey, Ash, check this out real fast. Let's listen to his latest rap song. You ready? Do you right know now. in the past a rapper that he stole from demanded that Dickers take down his shitty remix because he made the song suck? Woo! And then Dickers told the actual musician who's successful in the business that he's the one who's wrong and that Dickers' version is better. Can you That's the levels it? of delusion this guy is in. He's a beat thief. He, he thinks that he's, he's lower than Clog. He thinks he's going to rebrand his entire life in his mid 40s to become a rapper. No, not even a rapper. To become a rap producer. A rap producer. I'm sorry to say, buddy, but there's like a million rap producers in the world, and they're all way more talented than you are. There isn't there one are that isn't. 50 no, seriously, there are 15-year-old kids out there right now that have more producing ability in their pinky fucking finger than you have in your 400-pound gelatinous fucking weed-infused body. You jester. You fucking bum. But you're too good for Kino Casino. You're too good for Lol Cow Live. You're too good for Jay. Everybody's a parasite. Everybody's beneath you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Just honestly, just retire. It's over. You're done. The thing is, we don't even have to A-log this guy. Like, we're honestly doing him a favor. This yeah. is what he doesn't even understand. Much like with fucking DSP, where the only people that give a shit are the haters, and they're the ones keeping him relevant. Mm -hmm. We have brought more interest to Review Tech USA in the last two months than he's had since he fucking, like, got rid of Jay. Yeah. We've actually been revitalizing his career and helping him make money. But he's a stupid fucking idiot who doesn't know how the game works. And he's a little fucking baby who can't handle even the most basic of bants or being held accountable for any of his actions. 
He believes everybody else needs to be held accountable. Everybody else has to have really thick skin. Everybody else has to do their research. But he doesn't have to do any of that. And this piece of shit today gets up on his fucking high horse about Keffels. Sorry, Rich. Where the fuck were you before the Mudahar video? He, all, he only went after that when it was safe to do so. Yes! Beforehand, he actually had Keffels on his stream and was filleting Keffels. Wait, for real? This disgusting piece of shit was hitting on Keffels. Wait! Flirting with Keffels. Shut it down! And now here he is, the proud hero, Review Tech USA, He's not like the other grifters. He's condemning one of his own. Yeah, when it's absolutely the safest possible th time to do so. Hiding behind Mudahar. Rehashing Mudahar's video. And not even giving Mudahar credit until it's eight minutes into the video? Stop. Really? Really? That should be the opening. Hey, guys, Mudahar did a video. Hey, guys, Mudahar blessed me with this content. He's and by a the way, Mudahar, in look, a joke. Look, look, you know, like I watched some Mudahar videos, and whether you like him or you don't like him, he fucking, you know, he's a normie YouTuber and went out there, went out on a limb and got like completely like harassed by all the fucking, all the who fucking, who suck off Lucas, right? So yeah. he took the, you know, the you know, slings and arrows for this. And then when he's like finally like, okay, the dust has settled. Here comes Review Tech USA. Hey guys, they got uh -huh. these glasses that you should buy. That After are like the whole battle was fought and won. This guy comes in to Stop. grandstand on it and spike the football. When this guy is the biggest defender of the ideology that allows Keffels to get away with the scams that Keffels gets away from, it's because of spineless worms like Review Tech USA, that Keffels was able to scam the hundred grand, that Keffels was able to get Kiwi Farms shut down for a time. It's exactly because of the sort of people that are like Review Tech He's USA. He's a vulture. But now here he comes in to be the vulture, to pick the f***ing bones clean and get whatever little crumb of clout he can and to try and get on the anti-SJW grift, right? Because he sees that that's popular with other people. And other people are blowing up for going after Caffles. So now he's going to get in on that gravy train. And it's just disgusting. The guy talks about how he's not a grifter in that video. When Wait. at the very beginning, he's doing a paid advertisement. Shut the fuck up. Just think I about how fucked I watched three minutes of the video before I was like, okay, we're going to re like review this. So he says he's not a grifter. Bro, bro listen. Review Tech, we know you are. You can't. Yeah. How about this? Sh show, don't, like, don't tell. Show, yeah. don't tell. Well, You're why a doesn't lot he of show, tell. Why You're doesn't he show? Why doesn't he show the receipts where we hacked his Dropbox? Yeah. How Ooh. about you show us well, he where the, the story already? About, it doesn't even I know matter. he's changed the story a fucking million times. It doesn't even but matter. I'd like to see the login from fucking St. Thomas. Do you know? Yeah. The guy put the guy put out Jay's hometown, right? To try and divide and conquer. To have us go after Jay for it. To try and deflect the blame away from us. Yes, he did. That's how f***ed he is in the head. That's you understand? twisted. Can we see? Can we see the screenshots of this? Can we see no, the but screenshots now of your, the login? Can now we see the wife? drop box? Your ex-wife sent the, video, the, the oh, pictures. Yeah. Imagine the ex-wife sending yeah. the fucking, the fat, the now, underage it would fat be one material. Thing. It'd be one thing if they were pictures of his kids. But they're pictures of her kids that she said after they've later. been divorced. That she's then sending him updates on the kids all the time. And he's, he's jailing to it in his little fucking his little basement. A, but why via Dropbox? Even if this was the case, why wouldn't she just text it to him or Facebook Messenger? Listen, he needs to be Discord? put in fucking prison. But no, it's like Dropbox. She's uploading pictures of her kids to Dropbox for Richard the, to review. The prom update image? Pardon me? It's just bizarre. What do you mean? And he brought it all in on himself. Under the so. prison. Under the prison. The thing is, he's been hacked by us or by whoever, right? Where are the pictures? Apparently, we have nudes of his ex-wife. I don't even know what she looks like. But apparently, we have nudes of her. We have all these lewds of the kit. But it's nowhere to be seen. We apparently have his tax returns. 
Wouldn't we have leaked it to Cal? And been like, like look how poor he is. Very, I mean, we know he's like, poor, but you know what I mean? Like, we would have evidence of it. But yeah. And like, like, like this thing, if we orchestrated all of this, we would have been able to leak it with plausible deniability and still cover it anyway. But yet, none of this shit has ever materialized anywhere. Not on Kiwi Farms, not on Cal. Nowhere. And it's been weeks. But then like, he, but then he the admits. He, on? he admits that no one hacked it now. Well, by the way, he's he said that we hacked it and then didn't hack it already three times. You guys, if you don't remember his story, he said that I, Savonsky over here, hacked fucking Dropbox and the two step. When it asked for the two step, his phone went eh, eh, and fell off and hit yes. Are you fucking kidding me? Did God hack your uh, fucking like, Dropbox? Like, like and if the thing is, if the fates and God are that conspired against you to hack the Dropbox, I guess it was meant to be. Yeah. No? Like, like come on, man. Please. It's just fucking pathetic, the lies that he tells. The fibs. To just avoid, like, accountability for our criticism, which is that, like, you flagged, like, 16 videos down years ago. You doxed Review Hell USA. You threatened to dox Negative his clap. child. That's which is fucked. really disgusting. I didn't, I and the, didn't by do the that. Way, I didn't do that. How, how you employed that docs was by getting some scumbag that went by the alias of Shadow Government, who had 36 criminal Shadow convictions, government. who had 36 criminal convictions to dox your enemies for you. That's what you did. Can you believe that? And that's all on the record, Rich. And then... The reason all this is coming down oh, on his your burner head phone. now. His burner phone. Yeah, and it was his burner phone. Apparently that, he needed only a for burner the drop phone box. for the drop for, But come on. How much more guilty can you get? Sheesh. But then you fuck over your own editor. You refuse to pay him what he's owed. You have a past history of refusing to pay people what they're owed with Big Cheese and others in the past. But, oh, no, you're an innocent angel. Worski did cocaine. As you sit there, stoned out of your mind, unable to do your job and provide for your children. And by the way, and your elderly parents who are taking care of you like you're a teenage boy, Richard. Or should we call you what you really are, dickers? A paddled bitch. You were paddled in the sweltering summer heat of 1992 and bent over with diameter at a warehouse job because you're a little bitch dickers by the way imagine okay look i'm i'm clean and sober obviously but imagine going someone did coke hey richard you want to know who does coke a lot of people in the world if you're an entertainer you the better audience have done coke. appreciate some fucking cocaine you know hey you know what i powder. mean Stop like, it. where's the power? Ooh. You know, in Hollywood, like all the high-powered executives the and shit—they're doing cocaine. They're not sitting there stoned out of their gird on twelve fucking edible drinks. No, they're fucking barely flying. able to put two fucking words together. Some of the most successful people in the world are snorting cocaine. How many of them are taking edibles before they trade on Wall Street, Rich? How many of them are taking edibles before their comedy set, Rich? Like, seriously, dude. Maybe he Figure should do some f out. Out. and he'll I be awake. I think it would be better for him. Yes, it would be better for you. Unfortunately, it didn't work out for Ricada. <laughs> I mean, it went really Unfortunately, <laughs> you know, <hang> <laughs> unfortunately that if Ricada was to cut out the pills and the booze, maybe he'd be better with some stems. Listen, don't, don't do drugs. I'm say. kidding about that, obviously. But my point is, is a lot of people in the world have, have done coke, and I haven't done it in a long time, and I've been sober off everything else, including alcohol, weed, and nicotine now for 188 days. How about you, dickers? How about this, by the way? How about an addict, a former addict, or still an addict, but, you know, like, recovering? How about a former addict telling you that they fucked up his life and being off it? has fixed his life. Maybe I should be the one who be the, who's the one who tells you to stop doing drugs, you fucking f I know. I just couldn't believe the shit. Like, I watched his, uh, his stream yesterday or part of his stream yesterday, and it was just excuse after excuse after excuse, mm. cope after cope after cope. And it's like, man, why don't you actually do the shit that you say? Like, today he claimed that he was going to do a really long stream. Because he's like, oh, yesterday I only did two hours. 
He actually went for less time today. Well, he went for less time today than he did yesterday. Do you think when he hears the fees or intro, it's just like, it's the bat signal for him to shut down the stream? He went an Damn, hour bam, and 46 bam. minutes. No, it's sad, man. He hears he the fucking fees or theme and he has to run. He's he like, can't, oh, f Cause he knows, he, can't he knows. The, he can't even hit the goal to take his shirt off anymore. Imagine. It's And it's like, buddy, like you're a circus freak. Da, 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 come one, come all to see the 400 pound, hairy, sweaty, gelatinous man take his shirt off. Can we get $200 to watch the <laughs> world's fattest, laziest stone f looking like a sloth, his eyes all Chinese. Remove his shirt and spread mayo on his tits while watching Dark Side <laughs> Bill. Step right up and have a look. What a freak. Like, do you not feel any fucking shame? <laughs> like, what is your show? He's a freak. Where is the passion? Where are the standards, sir? The standards are on the fucking floor. Take some pride in your fucking craft. If this is going to be your job, make it your fucking job. And be proud of it. And own it. Don't be a pathetic, worthless, freak, fucking animal bum who can't even string two sentences together in a minute. This guy talks two words every 30 fucking seconds. It's shameful. Other segments, other lol cows, they actually perform. Like, we're going to watch iDubs and Anissa today just felt this shit out of each other. And there's stuff there. And it's just like, I can let it play and I can give commentary... This motherfucker, I have to be top dancing. I have to be flying to try and make this shit entertaining. That's why no one's and ever A-logged him before, by the way. I, like, so Because no, no, no one else gives a fuck enough. It's like, oh, and even man. I'm starting to get tired of this shit. Yeah, this is the best felting you could give to Dickers. He's in the corner suffering. You want Ghost Doctor? Drop 100 right <sighs> now. We'll go right to Ghost Doctor. <sighs> Oh. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I am kind of tired, but I'm gonna power through it for you guys. No. Yeah. We're we it's actually scammed. We're wrapping up soon. Yeah, we hit the goal. Mm. Sorry, guys. Suffer audience. Suffer donors. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I got to go to Ricada's house for the wake up sniff. So Fuck. we're starting off with Rich from Review Tech USA being confronted by his dad. Oh, no. In the middle of the live stream. <laughs> so there is Dickers doing his usual non tent stream, stoned out of his fucking mind, looking like the sloth from Ut Zootopia, et cetera, et cetera. Ass. And he's just. You like, missed one part. You missed one important part. He's got the. Worski 2022-2023 star <laughs> machine. The twisted mindset? The twisted He's mindset? The twisted mindset? Are you winning, son? <laughs> With your $30 piece of equipment, son? So this is Dicker's dad walking in on him with the paddle going, Are you winning, son? Did you get your mother a gift for Mother's Day, son? Have you thought about your dear old mom who is just in the hospital and nearly died and you were grifting off of her illness that just turned out to be a mild ear infection? Did you get her anything for Mother's Day, son? I love how, though, he goes between the old and the new set still. Yeah. Like, what's even the fucking point? And this new set's going to come back to bite him in the ass, by the way, guys. Yeah. Well, I, I thought that. It exposes his whole scam. It lays it all bare. Look, that's a little it hint right there. Yeah. All right. So by the way, Look by the way, I don't know if you noticed this, but he has uh, the Windows Defender off, allowing Why? all viruses. The tech guy has Windows Defender off. Mm, definitely hmm. to be trusted on tech issues. Hmm. You have a stuff. Huh? You have a thing for mom? No. I said. Did you I get a thing for mommy for Mother's Ooh. Day? It's like, like, imagine the indignity, the shame of it all. A grown-ass 42-year-old man still living with his parents, and while he's doing his job, his dad busts in on him 
and demands that his son get his wife a present for Mother's Day. This is like teenage boy tear shit. Look at this. Like, Rich is such an irresp... And only 300 viewers. I remember my first stream. A million subscriber channel on YouTube, 60,000 subs and declining. Actually, I think it's like at 57 or some shit on his Review Tech USA stream, but he can only get 300 just, viewers. Just shut it now, down. The good news for him is at least only 300 people saw him get felted by his dad. Oh, wait. I oh. mean, it's uh, yeah, 1,600 it's on, here at 2 a.m. Yeah, 1,600 here at 2 a.m. And the then 2 the clip channel, cycle. what? 5,000 views, whatever it gets, like 10,000. <laughs> you know, we lost uh -huh. 300 views when our stream went down. Like, we lost a full review tech stream, and we're going well. You have a thing for mom? No. I, say, I, I can't right so now he, do this. So he admits that he didn't get his mother anything for Mother's Day after she was just in the hospital. Straight up admits to it. And then says that he can't be doing this right now to his dad who pays his bills, puts a roof over his head, and allows him to be stoned all day long. And it's like, why did his dad do this? Why did he burst in on the stream? It's because Rich is just high all day. And he's like playing video games. No, 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 well, dad. well, it's not like a real show. It's not planned. It's a guy... Who's just like, he starts streaming, hey guys, what's up? We're going to just sit here and talk for a minute. It's, it's like, isn't it pathetic? Yeah. It's sad. It's sad. It's really bad. And, and, and this guy, you know, like he could mute the microphone. He could save himself this embarrassment. But he needs to grift off of his family. He needs to grift off the idea he's a family man, he's a normal guy, and he has all these relatives that are all coincidentally dying all at once, all the time, that allow him to be lazy, but then they make a miraculous recovery and repeat the cycle. Just like how he claims he's quitting, and then the very next day uses that as a publicity stunt to draw in views for the sponsor he got. We're going to get into that. Yeah. But All right, next... Uh, we have this Dropbox story changing. No way. Here he is blaming his ex-wife for why he has pictures of underage. It, it's so f***ed up. I'll tell you a story. Like my kid's mom, her older daughters from her first marriage, she sent me a picture of her daughter in her prom dress, and I just had to say that. I had this like, so this is the thing. He's now claiming that the mother of those kids, his ex-wife, even though they were never really married and it's all fucking bullshit and a farce, but he's claiming that it's her who's sending the pictures on Dropbox. Yeah. Now. Not that it's an automatic thing like we were originally told and it, those pictures accidentally came over just like the nude pictures of her or whatever. No, no, no. Now it's she sends over the pictures individually but review tech righteous man that he is is telling her no you can't do that which it's like why not if it's such an innocent thing it, you know what i mean but he's like no they might hack my dropbox and then they're gonna find all these pictures is that and say i'm said? a pedophile yeah no listen to him go don't you unfortunately you can't do stuff donated like ten dollars i heard what do you mean you can't do stuff you can't, like you, that. You can't you can't send private photos to a private Dropbox because y'all get hacked. It's like okay, then don't have anything on the internet. And by Guilty. the way, by the way, this guy's hacked, right? Meanwhile, he has Windows Defender off mm -hmm. to get keyloggers and shit on his computer. Where do you want to go to Jekyll and Hyde, Rich? The proper way to do that is to go NES Jekyll and Hyde style. What a great super chat. High IQ audience. What, with no hit detection and the game runs at 30 FPS. Oh my and I was like, yeah, unfortunately, you can't send pictures like that because if someone breaks in and sees that you sent me the, the your daughter in a prom dress, nothing more. Nothing more. Oh. Like he's so guilty. Like he seriously acts like he's under investigation, you know? <laughs> it's like and it's like, like in the and it's like brownies. it's like buddy. He's like buddy, you don't you don't realize right you don't have to tell us any of this shit. 
you realize that this all came from you oversharing because you felt guilty and needed to explain something that nobody was actually pressing on you at all? Do you understand that? Like, do you understand how fucking stupid you are? <laughs> and you just keep digging your grave more and more and more and more. Like, I don't think he realizes this, but you know, like, we can't actually make you respond to these things, but you're doing it anyway. It's beautiful. Because you're seething, and then you dig your grave deeper and deeper and deeper every single time you change your story and come up with a new cope. This doesn't sound like an innocent man. He sounds guilty as f He wasn't hacked. There was no hack. No, it's the thing, Internet Friend. He brought it up himself. Yeah. He brought it up himself. Because you thought it was a good deal. Pieces of f***ing shit like someone we I won't mention. Be like, but oh no, my like God. you have his picture on screen. Yeah. Someone you won't mention. Oh, I have. you I'm yeah, still he the was hacker. in the middle of doing this entire cope and seethe session about us that I guess we're going to get to eventually, although it goes on for like two fucking hours. Well, it goes on for the first 20 minutes, and then he runs out of shit to say. He runs out of material. He begs his chat for things to felt us with. They have fucking nothing. Then Rich is just sitting there with his dick in his hand, and then once we went live, he immediately pussied out and changed the title of his stream and the thumbnail to not be about the casino, by the way. He got belted. He got As he was yelling out, call down the thunder or whatever. It's fucking ridiculous. Okay, so now this is Review Tech's retirement video, which he posted yesterday where he's giving up on his main channel. He's no longer going to be posting. Spoiler alert, guys. Like the 20 other fucking retirements this retarded bum has gone through. This one was fake as well. It lasted all of 16 hours. Did we just spoil like the like the really funny Let's thing at the end? Let's just spoil it now. Guys. So here's the thing. This video we can see here by the convenient clock he's provided us was filmed on 5-21-2024 at 11.14 p.m. Rich's claim is that the video that was posted today was filmed before this one and he had a contractual obligation with a sponsor to post it <laughs> but if you look at this tweet that i'm gonna resend to you right now andy okay it it goes and it shows that in fact the video that rich posted today that he claimed was in the render queue since yesterday was actually filmed today look <laughs> like it's so easily disproven. Zoom in. Enhance. Filmed on 5 2024 <laughs> at 2.54 oh! p.m. The lying sack of shit. What happened is he gave up. On, no, what, what happened was he didn't even give up. It's so shameless, this grift. He actually, once he got the sponsor... And he realized he could milk the sponsorship for more money, depending on views. He made this fake retirement video to bait everybody into watching to raise his engagement and views. So then the next day he would get more views on this fucking bullshit video about Keffels he did. Yeah. Straight up what he did. It's shameless. It's and then he bad. talks about how other people are liars or grifters or scammers. Sorry, bud, you're the biggest lying, grifting sack of shit this side of Sunday, pal. You fucking suck. Imagine having the time and date behind you. I even thought when I saw this background, I'm like, is it smart to have the taskbar there? I bet that will bite him in the ass. And what in one day, it's like, actually, I didn't film. I filmed this before. No, 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 no. You are lying. Hey, uh, shameless plug that I was a complete. Straight up, what women life do is for a shameless plug. It's, you know, serious. Everything you do is a shameless plug. Look at the shamelessness of his head. Shameless the way that plug it's shaped. on my main channel. He what? Looks like an ape. Look at this guy. Complete idiot and forgot to bring up in this video before you watch. Do you have to even add that? He's like so depressed and low energy. I, I, I'm an idiot. I forgot to add it in this video, even though I'm filming a, an edited video where I can add why, it later. Why? Why don't you refilm it, you lazy bum? 
Uh, make sure you sub to my live stream channel if you still want to support me. And what? Well, disappoint? No, it should be. You should side, you know, subscribe to my live channel to watch the show and be entertained. Yeah. Like, I'm going to subscribe just to support you and not be entertained? I know. How about, like, entertain and then and be supported? And, and by the way, it's going to have nothing to do with my actual channel that you've been following for years, potentially, where I'm talking about games and tech and the news. It's actually just going to be about some guy that you may not have heard of called Dark Side Phil, who's way past his prime in terms of making fun of him and really is just a turtled up, pathetic, fucking middle-aged man, hoping that people like me leave him alone, but I'm not going to because I'm a fucking Spurg that thinks he's better than him, but you're actually the same as him, if not worse, in every single way. Hmm. hmm. Like, does Rich, does Rich, like, sorry, I get Rich and Phil's name mixed up, but does Richard <laughs> Burnell here actually think that he's better than Phil when Phil lives not with his parents? <laughs> and he does? Ooh. Like, for whatever you want to say about fucking Phil, like, <laughs> Phil's nowhere near as fat as you are. Phil fucking owns his own home. You know, Phil does his own thing and he doesn't have to leech off the blood of others like you do with drama bullshit. <laughs> and even though I have not uploaded Phil there recently, Phil sticks to his I schedule. Wait, 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 Phil, wait, 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 as you said that, as you said that, look at this. If you still want to support me and even though I have not uploaded there recently, I What? So it's like I haven't uploaded on my main show and I haven't or uploaded my, on uh, my streaming channel because I'm a lazy bum because uh, which but support family member me. is in the hospital this time? Give me money. But support me. Yeah. I have been working on stuff and learning the MPC one, which is what the fuck is the MPC one, Ash? It's like some tool to make rap music. Oh, or whatever. fuck. No one cares about music on this channel. No, you're no not one, a no music one channel. A, you no one, no one in a million years thought to themselves, you know what I want from Review Tech USA? Rap music. music? By the way, you, he's like, oh, I'm this like musician. I'm a rapper. That's the craziest. And then he most goes delusional part of all of it. But then he's like, I'm learning how to use the MPC one. Oh, so you're a beginner. Mm -hmm. That's like everyone. I'm dropping this channel with Ash, and we're gonna become. Um, you know, we're going to do, do piano, piano music, right? We're learning how to play the piano we're right now. We're learning hot cross buns on the piano. You know, Folks, so you sub, in? and eventually we'll have piano stuff. Right here next to me. Uh, I also produce music. Links below. In but he posts once every six months, and it's stolen music. He's a beat thief. The he description. Really Thank you for the continued support. Hope to see you in the next live stream. Continued support. You don't post. He doesn't even have any support. Yeah, they all. That's hate why him. he's broke and crying and coping and seething all the time and coming up with a million excuses because there's not enough support. And when he does get support, he arrogantly beats his chest and crows about how he ended Jay's career and he's a king before then coming back to the reality that he has nothing and he's a broke bum living with his parents in his fucking forties, stoned out of his mind, divorced, barely sees his kids. When they are around, his elderly parents take care of them for him. He's a loser. Like when you can't even handle YouTube in your fucking forties, sir, maybe it's time to fucking try and figure it out. Maybe put down the weed drinks, bud. For a second. Happening soon. Hey everybody, Rich at Review Tech USA here. Yes, I'm on a new set. I'm kind of look like I'm in a spaceship with a giant bird okay, behind me. Okay, so he no, you he, don't. Wait, look like wait, 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 Ash. He posts. He he's been posting on this set for like what, like a month now. He goes. He, he acts like no one's video. seen it. Nobody's seen it on the main channel. Like, have you ever considered the people on the main channel checked out the streams? and didn't like them because they suck because that was my experience as a review tech fan bless my fucking heart like holy shit i was like hey, what's this guy doing oh he's not really uploading anymore like i check in on him every few years then it's like oh he's doing live streams i go over him like this sucks and then <laughs> it would be like, like another two three years before i w i wonder what rich said about this tech thing
And it was he didn't cover it because he was busy taking his shirt off and rubbing his nipples in the gutter. <laughs> Me, but okay, it still looks amazing. I love it. Um, you love it's it. It's mostly where I'm going to be doing He's whatever so the hell I'm going to be doing here with his speech, oh, man. Whatever the hell I'm going to oh, be doing God. over here. Look at this. He's got a bugger like. Holy fuck. Uh, this is not to uh, refresh my channel because Review Tech USA, in case you couldn't tell, at least the way it was, is over with. So Let's go! Let's go! Yeah, baby! Review Tech But not really. Yeah. No, he, he posted a video today. He was back 16 hours later. Like, this is pathetic. Like, teenage girls have better justifications for getting attention than this. Like, this guy suicide baits. He baits the the wellness of his family members. It's I'm quitting the internet. I'm quitting YouTube. Like, it's pathetic, Rich. So, yeah, he posted this man. video. This is what We were uh, alerted to this last night, right? So he posted it, right? And then, like, the new one where he's like, oh, actually, I filmed this two days earlier. It's like... You have a calendar behind you, you retard. Yeah. A digital calendar. Oh, I assure you, this new set is not being done. By the way, he has, like, the cheap Turtles in Time, like, Walmart, like, $80 fucking... You know what I mean? It's not like a, it's like a custom or, like, a, a, it's a vintage... It's the one you get at Walmart. Yeah, it's a Walmart. It's, it's not, like, the vintage one. Uh, Arcade to... one up. Reinvigorate Review Tech USA because that is a chapter that is essentially closed. That is ridiculous. And you're back posting to it the very next day. That's embarrassing. But like, but like when you're saying this shit, right? Like, whose fault is it? You know, he blames everybody but himself. Yeah. It was the changes in the industry. It was this. It was the people that People aren't interested in news anymore. No, they are. They really it's are. Just, it's just you're too lazy to put in the work to post three fucking videos a day. Like, how hard is it, man? It's 30 minutes of talking and probably 30 minutes of editing. Workday done, one hour a day. Then you have all the remaining time to take edibles and sit on your ass and eat Cheetos. You can't even put in the bare fucking minimum. He should be doing both that and at least a two to three hour stream every day. Yeah. And if he's not going to do that, he should be putting it like because the streams that he does aren't even prepped. They're fucking shit. Like, figure it out, bud. It's bad. Um, So let's rewind a little bit and then we'll talk about Review Tech USA again. Where have I been for the past about a month and a half? Most people who are subbed to this channel and still watch his videos, No, Rich. They know you've been seething about the casino. They know you tried fucking ruining Jay's life. They know you've been on fucking lol cow and embarrassed yourself and Keem hates you now. They know, they know, they know. He acts like no one, like everyone's gonna be like, whoa. I'm sure there's one or two guys who are like, what? I've had some real life stuff that is going on that In is continuing. real life stuff, yeah. Us winning and you losing. Like I love how on. he can allude to this real life stuff, but he's not able to say what it is. Yeah. Even though he's outright told us stuff like his daughter is blind, his mother's in the hospital, this excuse, that excuse, but he just can't even be fucked to come up with an excuse this time. Right? He's like, yeah, it's just uh it's outside of my control. It's personal mm. life stuff. Like, I think the issue he's talking about is he's fucking broke and stressed. But the solution isn't to shut down and stop working then, bro. Work it's harder. to figure it the fuck out. Yeah. It has nothing to do with YouTube that I finally needed to mentally address. Uh, there are still things that are ongoing. And I kind of had no choice but to take a break from YouTube. Um, it's not true. Um, no choice. He had no choice. But you're a and then he claims, he claims, by the way, he, the reason that he did it was so there'd be no clippable moments of him. 
But meanwhile, us and Snort Hogan have had quite a success with flippable It's too many. Lucky that I have the luxury of taking that break. Luxury? You're broke. You're broke. The only, the only reason you can do this is because you live with your parents, man. Yeah. And they pay the bills. Oh, that's what he meant. Yeah, that's what he meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, if I had a normal nine to five, no, I could not do that. But. Yeah, but you your channel's in shambles. But then he has no appreciation for what he does and just turns in the bare minimum garbage effort where he's stoned. And listen, it would be one thing if he turned in the bare minimum garbage effort sober, but he can't even be f***ed to show up sober. Yeah. That's it's, sad. It's bad. And a lot of people brought up that point to me, but the rebuttal, I would say. And that's the thing here with Beer. He sounds exactly like Dark Side Phil. It's just another one of these business meetings where he copes with why it's failing and why he's not making enough money, uh, but it's everything else's fault in the fucking world, and we got to figure it out. It's the same thing as Phil. It's the exact same. Yeah. Your point was accurate. But, but at least Phil plays fucking games. At least Phil has a schedule and goes, Street Fighter today from 5 to 8. You know? Well, at least when Pill does his, like, Phil does his pignosis, where he's, like, hypnotizing the viewers into his sob story. Yeah. And he got charged back. Like, at least it's somewhat captivating. Like, at least he's able to speak more than two or three words a minute, unlike Rich. Oh, man. If this is accurate, too, is that when people come to see you and you're not in the right headspace... Okay, mundane Matt. He's not in the right headspace. Were you collecting he boulders? A, he really thinks that's a valid excuse for being a piece of shit. Yeah. It's just that you're a shitty person. No, you're a horrible person who tried fucking ruining people's lives. It is the perfect recipe for disaster streams. Recipe? So you don't cook. You order food. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> had, had to take a step away. And and this is the craziest statement here ever said in our chat. I think tolerator, casino tolerator goes steel toe morning show is better than review tech USA. He showed more potential today when he put the powder on his face and started going off. Than, yep, uh, Rich has shown. You know? I agree. Just even Melton would agree. Felt to work on this, get this set going. Um, other things with like equipment I was working on. I had an adventure trying to get the Roadcaster Pro 2 working. I had a duo at first, but there's Aren't a you technical attack stuff. Wizard? You couldn't even get that to work. The Roadcaster? By the way, like I haven't even included it in this because I'm, I, I just don't want to waste this much time on Rich. <laughs> but like Rich started his stream the other day four different times because he was muted and he couldn't fucking figure the audio out. At all. But there was something else um, Go on. that I realized, too. Go on. And I, uh, I thought about it long and hard during this hiatus. Is did I miss doing the... I don't want to say daily uploads, because... Because you didn't do daily didn't uploads. Do daily. But I love how he's always like thinking really long and really hard. And he tells us about all these plans and what he's going to do. And then he just doesn't do any of it. <laughs> like, you know, right? When you make a plan, you actually have to execute it. But like a lot of people that are stoned out of their mind all fucking day, all he does is think about it and talk about it. And then he never fucking does it because he's too stoned. We never really uploaded daily. But do it. We. I miss the regular uploads, like multiple times a week. Let's say. Hold, imagine your fucking job is being a fucking YouTuber. Oh this my god. Uh, no, absolutely. Then quit. Then fucking quit. quit. Just quit. Delete your channel. Delete it. Absolutely not. <laughs> I, uh, I don't, I don't miss the ten minutes of work it took me to fucking do it. It kind of made me depressed because I'm like, man, I am, I'm over 
what at He's least depressed. Review Tech USA was. And it's weird okay, because like I'm noted. Like, it's just ridiculous. Like, so you're depressed because you have to do, like, the same mundane shit every fucking day. Do you know what that's called? It's called having a fucking job. Mm -hmm. Like, you're bored with it? Well, maybe, like, try covering some different stuff. Or how about this? How about this, Rich? How about you keep doing what you were doing and you build up a side project until that side project is successful enough for you to then transition over? But instead... You just want to give up on what was working and transition to the magical fantasy of being a rap producer. It's just not going to work, man. Buddy, like, oh, sorry, I just got to the best. Oh. It is Hassan tear bitching. Yeah, like, dude, like, be happy. Like, shut the f up. Missing. You think Ashton, like, is like, oh, yeah. Can't wait to listen to fucking full iDubs and like listen to like seventy eight percent of it being shit. Do you think I'm me or Flaked are like, oh, I can't wait to censor out four hundred f words that would take us like three hours to do? No, and then, but and then we by do the it. Way, he talks about how he's sick of the routine and it's stale, and but then on his streams, it's just the same shit about Dark Side Phil, right? Every fucking stream, you know. A lot of people like. Norm the game. And by the way, like I know we do what we do sometimes gets like tedious, right? I'll say tedious, right? Um, but when we're finished, right, Ashton, like after you're finished like setting up a segment, aren't you like well, that was fucking like crazy to do? But aren't you so you're like Andy, today's segment's crazy. Or I go, or well, mere flake, you're like, like oh, we got two like videos that are gold out. Like but like, you have control as a creator to cover what you want to cover and true. put out what you want to put out. And yeah. it's, it's not its not like Rich wasn't also, in addition to gaming, talking about random news or political stuff as well that people didn't even really want to see. But he, he sprinkled in variety anyhow. Yeah. The truth of it is, it's just that he's lazy and he has no passion for anything. And that's just the bottom line. He's buck broken. He's done. A lot of people like Norm, the gaming historian. You're not the gaming historian. Uh, people talk about AVGN all the time. You're not him either. That you wish the, you they're were. kind of of my age, and whether they like Norm, the gaming historian, is retiring. He said it. Well, the thing is, though, he made tons of money probably invested it in properties and shit like that made money and he could you live with your parents but um people think the nerd should retire and there's other people too that i'm even not the nerds most recent video which is terrible is better it's than still way better than anything that rich has ever put together because as lazy as he's gotten he still puts in more effort than you do. You know? I'm not going to name. This is not what the video is about. That mm. you could tell that they're faking the funk because it's like, hey, it's it, it's what it is. They're faking the funk, but your funk what is real? The, what does this mean? No, he's like, they're faking not wanting to produce videos. Mine is real, though. You think and that's the thing, too. A a AVGN still makes money. Yeah. He has real sponsors. He gets still like a million views yeah. an episode. Nord I think. VPN and shit. Like you no, know, like what like you have nothing, bro. You know, and, and you see them not enjoying it anymore. And you see But they still do it. The numbers dwindling. And it's like I know you're over this. I Okay, but they still make money. I know you're over this. You're not passionate about it. Okay. But um, what's uh, a angry video game nerd? Hang on. Let me do a social blade check up here. Angry video game nerd. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, James Nintendo nerd. Social blade. Let's see how much he makes. Social blade. You don't like you. I know you're over this. Okay. Well, he still makes 40000 a month just on YouTube, not including sponsors. 40 grand a month, not including sponsors. Rich, 
but he, oh, you're not passionate about it, but he's still doing it. I know you're over it. I, I know it's easy. I know it. I know it. It's paying the bills. Maybe not the way it used to, but it's still paying. Rich, AVGN probably makes sixty-five to seventy grand a month. You know. So no, I think like, Greenwave takes a cut of that. Okay, let's say he makes thirty grand a month. Let's just say like the lowest possible cut, thirty grand a month. Oh man, it's it's paying. It's keeping the lights on. Yeah, early. Yeah. The bills. He but... lives with his parents, and that's thing. He's he's clearly high even right now. He couldn't even take ten minutes of his goodbye video. Imagine you can't even do your goodbye video for the fans sober. Look how fucked up he is. Yeah, like this is like. But he knew it wasn't the real goodbye video. He no, knew it was just a shameless. Of course grip. not. Why don't you try to do something different? Why? Why would they? If you're 42 and you've got kids, and the thing you're doing is making you fucking half a million a year, why the fuck would you change it? Why not become a musician? Ashton, Ashton, our show, our our show's been. I I do think there's some sad aspects to AVGN. Do you know Mm. in that Godzilla remake that they made like eight years, the one with Brian Cranston? Yeah. You know, he was offered a cameo in that, and it's one of his favorite film series. Uh huh. And his wife made it him turn it down because he didn't have enough time. Okay. You know, like the guy could have been an actual independent filmmaker. Like, but he felt like he had to do the AVGN movie. But the fans would have been happy probably with any movie that he made. He just, he f***ed it up. And it's like, okay, well, you blew that one, but you could still make another movie now. But he's just allowed himself to be defeated. It is kind of sad because he could have aspired to be more. Yeah. But then again, you read his book. Oh, and but it's, it it's a struggle out that he's just a straight up t- <laughs> so he probably really did overachieve in life, and we shouldn't have such high expectations for yeah. him. You know? We're Why nothing try... but the balls on the dick, son. <laughs> to reinvigorate yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. From the book. From the book, yeah. So why don't you try to... Okay, have you read... A- I'm sorry, it's so off topic. But AVGN's description of 9-11? No. Where his first thoughts were, is my dragon gonna be okay like he thought there was gonna be a terrorist attack on the dragon from the dragon in my dreams video and he's like he refers to mike matei as matei like it's crazy like it's crazy james on 9 11 what yeah no it's really yeah no he went to the special he he rolled the short bus like this is not even a joke. His is book. there a vi- is there a video on nine eleven you got felted? Is there really? Like what is it called? The audiobook? Let me just type in James Rolf nine eleven. Did he do an audiobook version? I got I bought the uh no, I don't see it. You bought the audiobook? Or the I got or the-, the, the PDF. Yikes, shut it down. <laughs> to change things up instead of just milking the same cow until there's nothing but uh, powder coming what is, out of the udder. What is, what is you watching DSP then, bud? Like, for real. I think that's actually a, a, a shtick from Ren and Stimpy, but anyway. And that's where I saw myself. This may be, Ashton, this may be the most boring I quit YouTube video ever. Like, really? Oh, my God. It's making me, it's putting me to fucking sleep. And I'm on, like, coffee and Coke Zeros. And I'm like, wow. He's overtaking caffeine, like, by, like, along. Like, he's winning. He's beating the caffeine in my system. You know, there were many times, this is something I debated for years. It, it, it wasn't where I was just doing it impulsively, where I kind of knew 
I was over what please. review tech you was saying. Please, God, please have mercy. Spit it out. Have mercy, dude. It was, but she gets scared and you go back into it and people tell you that you're crazy. And I'm not, there's many people that said that when I talked to them about me wanting to switch things up. And you mean everyone in your life said that's a bad idea and you probably shouldn't do that? Wow. So everyone was right? Wild. Like, like everyone was like, no. You know, and they're 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 they have your best interests at heart, but if you're just not feeling something anymore, you gotta do what you gotta do. And you gotta do what's right for you. And it won't be easy. Yeah, but what's and what would what would be right for you? As we said again, would you, would be you continuing with what you were doing and building a side project that you were passionate about until it was successful enough to transition over, not to just cut off your own fucking legs and try and crawl like a bum. It's stupid. Rich what? today, goodbye. Rich tomorrow, hello. And he and prophesied it, it. It, it actually happened. And then it actually Bro happened. Bro's been saying goodbye since 2014 when I first started watching. He ain't going anywhere. Goodbye forever, chat. I'll see you next week. Okay, at this point, I can't take Rich seriously. He seems to pull this on a fairly regular basis. You don't say. I'm so done with the guy, man. Like, Remember, you're here forever. <laughs> This guy. this guy makes more goodbye to the internet forever what? videos than this is, Brett Eves. This is good. He responded. When have I ever taken this much of a hiatus? Nah, man. The party is over. Next day, posts a video. Then lies and goes, I've always had this filmed. And then this guy goes, hiatus? You've been streaming daily and failing daily. Ah! <laughs> 54 likes. Buddy. And this guy goes sure thing boogie i mean bud and he ratioed review tech with 178 thumbs up to 107 he ratioed review tech uh is this the third good goodbye video in 2024 it is oh, um see you guys for the next good goodbye forever video i made the same comment last year in last year's goodbye video? Get rich tomorrow. I guess this is a welcome back video. <laughs> Here comes another rich tomorrow. <laughs> Let's moment. go. Yeah. Let's go to his most recent video. And just read a couple one, of fucking And just videos. read yeah. a few of the comments. Yeah, we're not going to watch the fucking vid. Hello, everybody. Rich. Sponsored by Virtue. Here we go. Richard today, <laughs> goodbye. Let's also, Richard today, let's get into it. I guess this is goodbye. Literally post a video 16 hours later. <laughs> Damn, bro, you went back on that goodbye faster than one could skate. Skibbity bop. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 340 thumbs up. And Rich responds to it with just a lie. This video was already in the burner. A lie. A lie. He filmed it that very Wait. afternoon. Well, well, you can see Here's it, right? There's the lie. You can see right there. It was filmed on the 22nd. The day it after was... the goodbye. Liar. People. Does not post a video in a month. Post a goodbye video saying review tech is over. Post a video mere hours later. <laughs> a new record. Review tech has broken his record on relapsing, on quitting. Oh. This is this is Kino. The thing that bothers me is that instead of just putting in the work and building an audience on videos of actual tech, <laughs> you would rather act like this channel can only be used for drama and news. The sad part is it shows all you care about is money. You took some random sponsorship because you're not making the same money you used to. Furthermore, instead of making a good video to put it on, you took the lowest hanging drama fruit. You can't help yourself but to just churn out the most low effort garbage possible for the most profit. I just don't understand how you can fumble the bag this bad. So it's like you're a garbage grifter churning out garbage content, but you can't even make a buck. All your content exists for is to make money, and it can't even do that.
You're a bum, dickers.